Now an update on a story we've been following on the rising number of people suffering lung damage, apparently from e-cigarettes. 193 cases have been reported in 22 states. One person has died. And tonight, as health officials investigate why, Dean Reynolds reports one city is taking action. In what may be a sign of a medical emergency with national implications, the City of Milwaukee Health Department is now urging all residents to stop vaping, period. Beginning in July, 16 teenagers that have come in with severe lung injuries and disease that needed to be hospitalized. And what we have found in common with them is vaping. You've got degrees. Of Pediatrician Michael Meyer said at first blush, it was as if the kids had severe pneumonia. Did you find cases where people were critically ill? We did. We had several children that were admitted to the intensive care unit. The exact cause has yet to be determined, but today in an ongoing state investigation among all ages of those with lung disorders who reported vaping, 89% said they inhaled THC products in the form of waxes or oils. THC is the active ingredient in marijuana. The problem is not isolated. In Utah, 20-year-old Alexander Mitchell was placed in intensive care after vaping, and now his lung capacity has been diminished by 25%. Vaping is promoted as a safer alternative when in reality it's not. The vaping industry is blaming unlicensed retailers selling unsafe chemical mixtures and wants federal officials to clarify where the problem lies. I think there does need to be some form of crackdown on illicit sales, uh, online sales, uh, black market sales, and any illicit substances. The CDC tells us they will have an update on nationwide cases soon, while locally, officials here remain on alert for any new reports. John? Dean Reynolds in Milwaukee.